We're going to begin this half hour with Hulk Hogan back on the stand getting grilled in his $100 million lawsuit against the website Gawker, the former pro wrestler highlighting the difference between his professional character and his real self. ABC's Lindsay Janice is in St. Petersburg, Florida with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. That's right. The defense suggesting it's almost impossible to tell when he is his bombastic wrestling character Hulk Hogan and when he's Terry Bollea, the private man behind the character. Lawyers for Gawker cross-examining Terry Bollea, a.k.a. Hulk Hogan, on the witness stand for a second day, arguing that just days after the gossip site posted a tape of him having sex with his then best friend's wife, the Hulkster willingly discussed the stories in a series of talk show interviews. Oh you come God. off like a stud. <laughs> Honest to God, are you kidding me? Do you think you come off bad in that tape? The defense suggesting if he was emotionally distressed by the release of the tape, why talk about it on Howard Stern? You didn't say, but whoa, whoa, I don't want to discuss this. I just, I dropped my head in my hands. I was, it was just embarrassing, humiliating just to hear it, but I, I didn't say it. Things could have been to a whole nother level, and I was trying to be cool, you know. What do you mean? I'm not getting this. The most famous pro wrestler in the world, explaining he was in character, giving him artistic license. Did you tell Howard Stern you would prefer that he respect your privacy? No, sir. I didn't want to bring Terry Bollea the man and separate the man from the character. Hogan testifying he didn't want to discuss the tape, but the interviews were part of a promotional tour for his wrestling, booked long before the sex tape went viral. The defense also arguing Hogan had long invited the public into his private life, showing a clip of his former reality show, Hogan Knows Best, in which he and his ex-wife, Linda, get marriage counseling. Between her and I, there is just all this unhappiness. Did you consider that appropriate for the public to see? Yes, sir. We were, um, it's like the clip you showed where it's Hogan Knows Best. I wasn't. Terry Bollea knows best. This was one of those storylines. Hogan's lawyers telling us they never had a problem with Gawker talk, writing about the sex tape. It was posting it that went too far. And Robin, in case you're wondering, they say Terry Bollea is almost always Hulk Hogan, except when he's at home or in a private bedroom being secretly recorded. All right, Lindsay, thank you. ABC News Chief Legal Analyst Dan Abrams joins us now to help us make sense of this. You heard his argument that he was staying in character. What do you mean? It's, it's a tough argument to make because basically he's saying he's always Hulk Hogan except when he's behind closed doors. And therefore, you shouldn't hold against him anything that he said is Hulk Hogan. It's a critical point in the case because Gawker's argument is because he talked about his sex life, mm -hmm. therefore this sex tape became relevant and newsworthy. He's saying, I didn't talk about this sex, sex tape. Hulk Hogan talked about this sex tape. It's a tough distinction uh, to make. And, uh, and I think one that's going to be hard for the jury to accept, yeah. particularly on the issue of damages. Mm. Uh, how does it relate to damages? Because, because think about it. If, let's assume that there's liability, right? That the jury says, we think that, that Gawker's responsible. How much pain and suffering, uh, economic damage, et cetera, did Terry Bollea suffer uh, um, because of what Hulk Hogan did? It, it mm. starts to make you wonder whether Terry Bollea should sue Hulk Hogan. Uh, for, for what he said. I mean, it's, it's, it's a sort of, it's this surreal world inside the courtroom now. But I'll tell you, I think the most important testimony is going to come from the defendants themselves, mm -hmm. from the Gawker folks, because whether they believe Hulk Hogan, Terry Bollea, the, the, this case is going to come down to why Gawker did what it did. Have you ever heard of this type of defense? No, because remember, most of the case you're talking about actors, right? They're comparing it to being an actor, except he's talking about real things in his real life not about uh, just acting roles. That's the difference. All right, Dan, I'm sure we'll be talking to you from time yeah. to time about this. Thank you.